Hi guys, this is Hai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about using a pipe and a map and how they help our observable to transform the data and how they are usually used in observables in Angular. And also we will see a sample observable. Along with that, we'll try to do a HTTP call with this pipe and map. So these are coming from RxJS. So we'll see about what is pipe and what is map and other operators we'll see in the upcoming videos. For now, we'll concentrate only on the pipe and map. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, what I'll do is just I'll create a observable, a sample observable. And this sample observable is a type of observable where it is of type any and equal to, I can use of operator from RxJS to create an observable. And I have discussed about how to create an observable in my previous videos as well. Please watch that for better understanding. For now, what I'm doing is I'm just adding one comma, two comma, three comma, four. And now let me give semicolon, save this. So what I want to do is each and every value from that observable, I want to multiply it with two. That means I'm doing a same set of operation on each and every element and I'm trying to transform the data before I get into the subscription. Example, so now I'm creating a constructor. On the load of this, I'll just subscribe to this observable. So whenever you subscribe, how it behaves and when we apply our map, how it behaves. Let's see that. Now I have a result over here. Let me use console.log of result and save this. So let me go here and inspect this. Let me go to the console. Here you can see an array of values that is one, two, three and four. So we, it is emitting at once. Now instead of using an array, I'll use something like one, two, three, four. Let me save this. You got one, two, three, four. Four values it has been emitted. Now if you want to multiply this, then you can do only after the subscription. But by using your pipe chaining, we can add n number of operators into that pipe and we can transform our data and that transformed data can be returned to this subscription. So how I can do that? I'll show you here. I can use a pipe and inside this pipe, I can write n number of operators and it will be executed as how you write the operators, the sequence of operator matters over here. So if you write map as a first operator, then it will be executing the map and it will go to the next operator. Each and every operator will transform the data and convert your data to an observable and that data can be subscribed in our subscription. So now I'll use something called as map inside this. So you can use anything. Let me go here and use a map. So as I'm not getting an intelligence for this, so let me use import from rxjs slash there are something called as operators and inside these operators you will be having map let me save this and this map will receive the value or the result let me receive that result and the result is always a number and what i will do is i will return this result into two that is multiplication of two so let me format this now one into two will be two. So it will be calculating and multiplying with two. So your output should be two, four, six and eight. So let me go here and you can see two, four, six, eight. So when we can use a map to perform same operation on the elements, whatever you are emitting and it will be converted into an observable and that can be subscribed. So whatever you are returning, that is not normal value. It will return the value in a observable format. That is why you are able to subscribe. So pipe, what it will do, it will execute all your operators and returns one single stream of value and that value can be subscribed. So for the first value, it is converting or transforming your data and it, it is returning your new data in an observable format. So that is the advantage of using a pipe. You can add another operator, something like here, filter. We'll discuss about the filter in the future, but like this, you can add n number of operators and the sequence is very, very important. 
like that you can perform any n number of operations inside this pipe and you will be getting only one value you can do this operation even after getting the data but for example if this logic or if this observable i want to use at n number of places then i have to transform in each and every place so instead of using that i can transform the data before i get into my subscription part so this is one of the advantage and this is one of the difference between your promise and observable in promises you can change or you can perform any transformations only after dot then but in observables you can transform the data before you get into the, your subscription logic so this is a sample example and how exactly this can be helpful in our http calls so let's see how we can do that i'm using a component level of http call same like this so let me comment this and uh, let me go here i'll use something called as http client and i'll just use a injection process let me use inject method of http client we are not getting an intelligence why because let me go into app module and here let me import http module that is import from at the rate angular slash common slash http and i want to import a http client module and let me import this in our imports array go here and just import http client and this is of type http client now let me call an api to call an api let me go here and get the url let me use json placeholder slash to do's for example you have some set of list over here i want to iterate this and i don't want to get all the properties of this object i want only an id and the title property so i want to transform the array with only id and title for each and every object so that i'll perform in this let me copy this and now let me use this dot http client dot get of i want to pass this get and i want to pipe this by using map operator and this map operator now will receive an array so you will be getting an array over here so i can use any of array and now what i want to do is i want to filter it out so this is an array so what i can do is const arr is equal to my result and i want to iterate it so return or just you can use something like array with empty array and i'll try to use result dot for each of i want to perform an object or a string or anything whatever you are getting over there and i want to return my object with an id where obj dot id and i want to return a title where it is obj dot title other than this i don't want to return anything so instead of using for each we can use even map and i'll just return this off so that no need to use this so let me see what's the problem const i can use something like any let me use a question mark over here and use something like any so it is saying that result has explicitly have any let me use return over here and save this so what we are doing is this map is an rxjs operator which is receiving a stream of data that is the result and this result is an array format because this is the result we are getting and from that result i am just using a map operator of our arrays it this map is different from this map this map is related to rxjs this map is related to your array array of objects so now i am iterating this by using a map so inside this map we are getting a new object for each and every iteration and i am using only id and the title i don't want to use any other properties like user id and id so let me go here and just subscribe so i can use dot subscribe and inside this subscription you will be getting to do's list and which is of any 
and this will give you an result of array so that is equivalent to to do's and save this go here you will be getting the 200 records and that 200 records each and every record will contain only two properties that is id and title for example if you are not writing this pipe let me cut this out and save this you will be getting the 200 values but inside each and every object you have four properties so now what we did by using a pipe operator pipe operator helps us to transform the data where this pipe will help us to chain all the different types of operators and result an observable and that observable can be subscribed over here and that will be rendered in your subscription logic and you can add how many operators you want that i'll be showing in the upcoming video and this is about a pipe and a map in observables hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off Thank you.